You frequently need to create new empty containers in which you digitize data, and we'll show you how here. So we have this example geodatabase, and in the catalog then, you can right-click on the geodatabase, and you can create a new feature data set. So you right-click on the geodatabase, go down to New, and then it'll open this geoprocessing tab, and you'll enter the name then of the new feature data set. Now we can set the coordinate system for the feature data set at the onset. If we know we're going to put data in it, for example, here in the UTM NAD83-2011 zone 15 coordinates, we can go down and define those, and then any data layers that we put in there that they'll call feature classes, uh, we can then be ensured that they're in this data set. So we name it in its location and give it a coordinate system, and then it creates it simple as that. And if I go back to the catalog and look at it, we see that this feature data set is there. If I want to add layers, which they call these feature classes, I can right-click on this new uh, feature data set and enter the feature classes in pretty much the same way. So I'll type in the name. This is going to be a polygon type, and I can select the geometry. I have to be careful to match that. It defaults to polygon. Hit Run. It then creates this new feature class in the feature data set. If I look back at the catalog there, I can see that inside this feature data set, I, can, I have it. Now I can go ahead and do the right click again within that feature data set. Only this kind of time, I'm going to make a, a line to data set. This, they'll call it polyline. Uh, it will be storing, in this case, roads, so I name it that. And I run, and it gets added also. So again, if I look back at the catalog, there it is. Again, right clicking on the feature data set, and then selecting new from the drop down in feature class, I can put in a point feature. In this case, I'm going to name it houses. And then I make sure I change the geometry type to houses uh, so that I don't have the wrong thing that I'm trying to enter. Uh, and then I run it. Again, it creates this empty container. So you'll be doing that in the uh, lab here, creating a point, line, and polygon uh, feature classes in a feature data set and then digitizing into them.